let me introduce you to both of them. We have with us uh, Mr. Arindam Lahari, who's the CEO of Automotive Sector Skill Council, ASDC. And we have with us Mr. Mike Weil, who's one of the directors of Certified E. He's championing the cause of digital certificates in India and elsewhere as well. So with a lot of international presence, Certified E of late uh, has been they're taking up many initiatives and has launched many programs, which includes Skill Pass and many other initiatives, which are helping many organizations to get on to the digital and go for certification, which is reliable, transparent, and foolproof. And recently, ASDC has tied up with Certified E. And through this partnership, ASDC is pioneering the launch of digital certification, which I just said is all about transparency, foolproofness, and also avoiding fake certification and bringing a lot of respect to certification for skilled candidates in India. So let's go ahead and uh, learn more about this um, uh, partnership. Let's go ahead and learn more about this partnership and the recently signed uh, memorandum of understanding between the two organizations. So I welcome both of you to this conversation, Mr. Lahari and Mr. Weil. So uh, thank you. My first question, thank yeah, you, my first question would be to Mr. Lahari. Uh, Mr. Arindam Lahari, tell us more about uh, how the scenario is right now for the automotive sector. What are the changes happening from the business perspective and how is the Sector Skill Council uh, trying to you know, navigate this phase and realign uh, with all the nuances that are happening in the industry in terms of skilling and certification? Yeah, Madhuri, I think uh, automotive industry is on a roller coaster ride. I think, uh, you know, we've, uh, you know, pre-COVID itself, uh, the growth had kind of uh, vanished uh, in the industry, in the Indian industry context. And, uh, you know, on top of it, we had the COVID. However, post-COVID, I think things are uh, picking up really fast. This is one of the industries which has probably recovered the fastest. Uh, especially, we see a lot of uh, surge in a few specific segments like uh, uh, personal vehicles, especially cars, the entry-level cars. We also see a huge upsurge on the tractors uh, market that has been there. Uh, the commercial vehicles segments uh, and uh, the three-wheeler segment, which is also largely commercial, uh, they're, they're going through their uh, challenges still. So comparatively, uh, they're not doing as well. Uh, as far as skills is concerned, I think automotive industry uh, also is witnessing a huge uh, disruption in terms of technology adoption of uh, EV. Uh, with COVID uh, impacting uh, the whole social distancing norms in, uh, in the workplace, uh, and especially in a manufacturing setup, uh, we are uh, increasingly seeing a lot of interest for uh, automation uh, in, in, the, in the manufacturing processes. So these are some of the areas I think of which we will uh, stay focused on as uh, as a skill council, uh, looking at creating new standards, new courses, new programs around these themes. We also see a lot of uh, digital uh, skills enhancement programs, and uh, we are very uh, you know we are working very closely with quite a few uh, large. IT partners in terms of bringing uh, automotive sector related skills programs here. And in all these uh, uh, effort uh, and including e-learning that we are doing, uh, I think certification in the, uh, I would say non-skill India initiatives, for instance, where the certification is already generated through the Skill India portal, uh, some of these private programs where we've been doing certification outside of the uh, Scale India portal, we needed a much more robust mechanism to do a certification, and which is where I think uh, we looked at Certified D, and I think this was one of the fastest in, uh, for us in terms of actually getting implemented on ground. So not only have we signed MOU, we've already released the first set of certificates uh, through the system already. And we hope to uh, ramp up uh, quickly in this space. And we hope that uh, these initiatives will uh, 
definitely mark a uh, start of a new era in the whole uh, certification area uh, that India traditionally has always struggled with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just mentioned about outside the Skill India uh, certification. Perhaps you can tell us a little more about it. And uh, also the vision you have uh, for tying up certificates with better wages and uh, better life for the people who are undergoing this certification. As we are aware in India, uh, still the value of certification is not translated into better wages. So what would you like to say on this? So, uh, you know, uh, uh, the first, the clarification on the Skill India portal, uh, just that the government funded programs which are run through the Skill India portal and some of the other state run programs, uh, there the certification is actually generated through the Skill India portal, which are QR code verified. Uh, uh, so all the other programs that we do outside of that system, uh, in terms of uh, various upskilling programs and fresh skilling programs, which are kind of privately uh, initiated, uh, let's say, and which are uh, not part of the Skill India program, uh, for se. Uh, in those kind of areas, we are looking at implementing this particular solution to start with, you know, uh, and, and we'll see how the whole certification uh, initiative standardization happens over a period of time. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, while the layout and everything has been fairly standardized uh, in terms of whatever we do, it's the technology that we wanted to experiment with and make sure that uh, we understand this far better before we uh, take it to a mass adoption. Uh, in, in, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, the other part of your question was on... Uh, Wages, uh, wages, wages, linkages to certification. So I think uh, the more important element of the wages is uh, one is, of course, uh, you know, certificate does play an important part, but the way that the certification is actually done. So you would already know that ASDC had pioneered in terms of partnering with TCS in terms of making the, uh, you know, the whole assessment process a much more rigorous process. And uh, we've also gone into e-learning portals, platforms. So we are trying to make sure that the entire flow of training, assessment, and certification is strengthened. Mm -hmm. So this is part of that entire effort, essentially. And uh, you know what we definitely found a very good addition was from uh, the certified platform of a skill pass, which could obviously uh, open up a lot of international opportunities as well for our certificate uh, holders, you know, being part of that larger uh, value proposition in terms of the skill pass uh, system. And that definitely can give a, a, a huge plus to the employers as well as to the potential employees in terms of how they connect and uh, make that uh, effective employment happen. And uh, employability of candidates is one issue. And the other issue is access to information about the right kind of jobs. So right. both, both are kind of going to get integrated with that. So these, these are part of the various initiatives that uh, we at ASDC have been taking in terms of strengthening that whole process, uh, which can uh, which can make these certificate holders uh, get better access to better jobs and better wages. Yeah, that's really nice to know because I'm sure it will make them feel very proud about what certificates they are getting and also show them paths. Like you said, Skill Pass, I'm sure, is going to help them out not only with better employability, but also with better career prospects in terms of learning further. <laughs>